Hey everybody, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com and I am really excited about today's video because I get to introduce to you the very first Goulet exclusive Sailor Pen. This is a pen that we have worked for well over a year to help them develop and we're very excited to be able to show it to you today. It is called Stealth Green and it is going to be in both the Pro Gear as well as the Pro Gear Slim version pen. The Stealth Green is an opaque dark green with a gloss finish. It has translucent black on both the cap as well as the body finials and on the grip of the pen as well. All of the metal accents on the pens are black ion plated, including black ion over the gold nib. We chose the Pro Gear and Pro Gear Slim models because there have been a lot of, you know, interesting 1911, the round top versions that have come out, uh, but we feel like the Pro Gear, the flat top version is maybe a little underrepresented in the US. So we thought it'd be fun to do that. Sailor's known for many, many color combinations, which are kind of vibrant and bright, uh, particularly that they've done in the, the Pro Gear and Pro Gear Slim in the US. But, you know, we wanted to go with something that was a little more subtle, a little more understated, so we went kind of the stealthier route. But taking a look at both models, the trim is gonna be very complementary to the dark green and the smoke translucent on the finials. It has these black ion trim details on the center band, as well as the grip and cap finial. It has metal rings on both finials. The center band has Sailor Japan founded 1911 in block lettering and the accent ring is above it. There's a trim ring between the grip and the body threads and it has a tension clip with a tasteful accent. The fit and finish on these pens is superb. It has a Sailor Anchor logo embedded in the cap finial. It's a screw cap with just under two rotations to uncap. And it's a push to post on the back if you prefer to write with your pens with the cap posted. Taking a look specifically at the Pro Gear Slim, the smaller of the two, it's gonna be fairly similar in size to maybe a Pelican M400 or M600 like I show here. The Sailor pens, especially the Pro Gears, are a little bit on the shorter side. So they're very compact. They're a great kind of carry around pen. And what's great about these, they don't weigh a lot. They're mostly resin, so it's very light. Only 17 grams for this one. So if you're gonna be writing for long periods of time, carrying it around with you, it's gonna be something that's gonna be extremely comfortable and not weigh your hand down. This is gonna be great for an everyday carry pen, especially for those with small to mid-size hands. So going to the Pro Gear, which is the larger of the two, this is the mid-size pen. The King of Pens would be the biggest one, but we did not do a King of Pens on this particular Stealth Green. So this is the bigger of the two options that we have. So this pen is gonna be somewhat similar in size to the Pilot Custom 74, if you're familiar with that model of pen at all. A little bit shorter, a little bit squattier, but uh, somewhat comparable overall. This one weighs only 22 grams total. So it also, like the Slim, is gonna be extremely light easy to carry around, great for writing for long periods of time, another fantastic everyday carry pen. And I think it's gonna be fairly comfortable for pretty much anybody's hand size. Sailor makes all their own in-house nibs and they are renowned for their quality and their consistency. Pro Gear Slim has a smaller 14 karat nib. This is gonna be a gold nib that is plated in that black ion, so it's got the black look to it. This nib's gonna be slightly stiffer, um, not really a whole lot of softness to it, not really a lot of spring, and has a touch of feedback, sort of like a really nice mechanical pencil or, or a hard graphite pencil. Pro Gear has a slightly larger 21 karat gold nib. So the higher gold content is gonna make the nib just a little bit more malleable. It's got a little bit more bounce to it. So you do get kind of a springier feel while you write with this one. But the overall feel is gonna be somewhat similar in terms of the feedback. Again, it's not gonna be super glassy smooth. It's gonna have just that, that touch of feedback so that you kind of know it grounds you a little bit on the page as you write. Both nib designs are highly detailed with the Sailor Anchor logo and the 1911 number as the focal point. That was Sailor's founding year. Both pens will be available in all seven standard Sailor nib grinds. It's extra fine, fine, medium fine, medium, broad, 
Zoom, and Music. If you want to learn more about each of these nibs, you can check out the other more comprehensive Sailor video we did where I explain a breakdown of all these nibs. The flow on both of these nibs is going to be very controlled, very consistent. They're not extreme gushers. The extra fine, fine, and the medium fine, they're going to be slightly less of a flow. It's going to put down a firm line, but it's not going to absolutely gush. So if you have ink where you really want to see a lot of shading, shimmering, those types of things, I would go towards the broader nibs, the zoom, and the music. In terms of ink usage on these pens, they do use Sailor's proprietary ink cartridges as well as their proprietary converter. And these pens do come with a converter, so you can immediately start using bottled ink with it. And I'm a big fan of this feature. They have an insert in the cap that helps to seal around the nib so that it always keeps the ink wet on the nib and keeps the pen ready to write. Now, if you are like me and many others, you may be inclined to match your ink to your pen. And this particular pen, you have a lot of great choices because dark green, there's just a lot of really good ones. So uh, I'll go ahead and give you some suggestions, but of course, feel free to uh, ink it up with whatever strikes your fancy. So if you want to go with some Sailor options, they have many of them. You can check out Sailor Ink Studio 967, as well as Ink Studio 964 and 960. You can also try out Sailor Shikiori Mirai. If you want to go away from Sailor, you can check out Lamy Crystal Peridot. Monteverde Olivine, Private Reserve Avocado, and Noodler's Zhivago. All of these are fairly conventional inks, no extreme properties or anything, so I think they would work really well and be fairly easy to clean and maintain in your Pro Gear. Now, as far as pricing goes for the Pro Gear Slim, it's going to be priced like all other pens. Just because it's an exclusive of ours, we're not deviating the pricing from uh, the newer sailors that have been coming out. So Sailor, the Pro Gear Slam is going to be $280 and the Pro Gear is going to be $392. And this is going to be for all nib grinds, nothing extra for the Zoom or the Music or the bigger nibs. So while these pens aren't technically going to be numbered limited editions, they are going to be, I'll call them a limited production. So they're not going to be made forever and ever. Now it's going to be up to us and how many we order and how many sailors willing to make. I think if they're wildly popular, we may be able to order some more, but I'm not 100% sure. It might be a one-shot deal. We've got a pretty decent number of them, so I don't think it's the kind of thing you need to like rush out and get immediately. It's not going to sell out in two days and then be gone. But at the same time, you know, it's not going to be around forever. You can only get it through us. And it's the kind of thing that if this pen really, really strikes you, I would go ahead and move this further up the list in your future pen collection, you know, acquisitions. And then uh, you can go ahead and acquire it, especially if you know you want a specific nib size. Given that there are so many different nibs, there might be a particular nib size that'll sell out here and there first. And then we may not be able to restock or swap out that nib. So I would go ahead and lock it in, you know, as soon as you're able. Well, there you have it. This is our one Sailor exclusive that we're going to have for 2021. Hopefully, we'll be able to do some more in the future. Again, this is kind of a new endeavor for us. We're trying to build this relationship with Sailor, and the more successful that this one is, I'm sure the more that they would be open to doing some in the future. So hopefully we're representing well, and this will be received really well. We have a lot of other ideas, so some that are you know, related to this, some that are very different that we want to do for the future as well. But this is uh, probably all we're going to have for the next many months. So go ahead. Check it out. If you want to learn more about it, you can see some detailed pictures, info, technical specs. You can check all those out on gulepens.com. We'll have that for both of these models. And you can also leave some comments, ask us questions, and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share this video with others if you found it helpful. And if you really want to encourage us to be able to do more cool stuff like this, all of those things help us to do that. I'm really grateful to have this opportunity to do this with Sailor. Thank you so much. We really appreciate y'all's support in the community. We're really thrilled to be able to help create new products like this that, you know, frankly, wouldn't exist otherwise. So really, really cool collaboration to be able to be a part of, and I'm deeply honored. So please let us know what you think. Really appreciate you spending time with us today. Thank you for watching and right on.